Um, I think this is mine. And when you are in Bangkok, you can choose your type of food experience that you want to do. You can remain maybe in the central area and go to the night markets and do what the other people do. Or you can come to a more kind of authentic place which is maybe out of the way and we are near the Lumpini area here and this place is called Eng Chun Sen which I think has been popularized by Mark Wins, a famous blogger. We're gonna have what local people come here for which is a beef hot pot full of juicy meat. You can just a few ingredients to put in your hot pot and we've got here like a little dish of uncooked meatballs which you're supposed to put in the uh, hot pot. It's boiling, there is fire, charcoal kind of hot pot. So the meat is already is, is still cooking. In this hot pot there, are, there is a mix of things. There is meatballs, there is uh, cow tendons and there is cow intestine as well. There is a, and there is morning glory as well. So a, a bit of green which is it's never bad. This bubbly broth is gonna cook the meatballs. We're gonna leave them for a few minutes. Now, I'm not sure if this is the correct way to do it, but I'm just gonna I've put some rice into my plate and I'm gonna use a little bit of the stuff from the hot pot and I'm gonna dunk them into the into the rice. Make sure I've got plenty of broth. Let's try this meat. Oh yeah, the broth is very, very flavorful. Um, it's a very meaty. Um, yeah, let's see how much spice you can eat. Is this okay for you? Chili flakes? What else do you put there? Fish sauce. A bit of fish sauce and a little bit of vinegar. of vinegar. And he's created a sauce which you can use to sort of dip your your meat into the sauce. It's going to be pretty spicy though. So most of the sauce is this one. Most of the sauce. This a little bit and this up to you. Can I try that spicy sauce? Yeah, go for it. Okay, let's try the spicy sauce that Daniel has created and see if I can tolerate that. Very spicy. It's very spicy, but it's nice. Obviously, the bits of tendon are gonna be a little bit gelatinous, but I mean, I like them. You like the organ? How, I love how generous they have been with the morning glory. It's nice to have some greens to accompany the meat. With. I think this is in, in testing, isn't it? Yep. Okay, let's try the beef intestine. Yeah. It's a bit chewy, but it's good. Look at the oil. This is from the beef fat. Yeah, so the, the beef fat is basically dissolved into the, into the broth, making it a little bit oily. That's all the juice of the meat. It's fantastic. Every now and then make sure you get a sip of cola just to cool down a little bit. The meatballs should 
be ready by now. Well, let's try it. It's nice and bouncy and it's very flavorful. There's black, pe black pepper in it, I think. I think the meatball needs to be spicy a little bit. That's a bit bad. And this bit bit hot pot like looks a little bit small, but there's a lot of meat inside. Do you, you can just dig in and see how much stuff there is. chunk of beef intestine. So that was Eng Chung Seng, like a very popular spot. Uh, I think we're gonna go for a stroll in Lumpini Park and then we're gonna move to the second very interesting place in Bangkok, a jacuzzi full of beef that's been simmering in a broth for 40 years.